someone who fight for the rule of law, yes. and someone who is a Christian. Yep. He believed in Jesus and nothing else. As a matter of fact, he grew up in Europe, Liberia, and most of the time he spent most of the time in church. And so, I came across this guy uh, back home in Liberia. And at the time, we were just, you know, casual friends. You know, see one another wave and pass by. We didn't know one another that well. Until when I moved to the U.S. And I got an opportunity to serve in the U.S. military. And on one of my deployments in Kuwait, uh, most of the days that I had there were boring. Because we weren't actually fighting war, so <laughs> there was not much fun. But uh, most of my free time I spent watching this young man. And I didn't have the opportunity to go live to watch him live. So I would always go back and watch the show after. This, this was like, what, 13 years ago when he, I think 11 or 12 years ago, okay? Uh, I would go back and watch the show and he caught my attention. I was like, oh, this, this, I know this guy. And since that day, I started following him. I would go back, watch the show anytime, whenever I had a, a chance to do. But long story short, came back yeah, hold on, hold on, and then I started following the show. So here's the fun part. I was so excited about him when I got back from deployment. I woke up 2.30 a.m. just to see him live. Because I never had a chance to see him live on Facebook. So 2.30 I woke up. So I was only really able to do that for, what, yeah, for like yeah. two weeks, and yeah, I give up. I'm like, no, they got me to do a piece. He's a guy, he's a family man, he's a scholar, and he wakes up every morning, 2 a.m., United States time. And he set up and go live three, just to talk about Liberia to talk about the ills in society, to fight against corruption, to fight against the secret killings, and all of that. And I looked all around, and I wouldn't find anyone compared to him, to his commitment, yeah. to his loyalty. And one thing I learned in my service, to this nation is loyalty, mm -hmm. love for country. You all know we are from Liberia. America is not my home, but it is my home. But when I see when we go in, the way we serve America, the way we pay our homage, our loyalty, the way we fight for the Americans, and when I see someone like that, even though he's not wearing a uniform, he's not having arms, but he's a fighter. When I see someone like that, I'm like, man, I can't find anyone to compare to him. Yeah, that's right. Like I said, he's a dad. Now, mind you, after the show, he don't have any time to sleep. He got to get his kid ready for school. That's the commitment. And so, not only is he a father for justice, but he's also a humanitarian. He is a philanthropist. As you as some of you may be aware, uh, there have been many times that he raised funds for the needy. I remember a kid, a Liberian girl, had an issue that she needed to travel for surgery. And he went online just in like 20, 25 minutes. Raised almost more than twenty thousand dollars US for this girl, and today she's what she's healthy. 
She's well. She's doing great. And that's the definition for love of country. And this young man I'm talking about, I want to read tonight something that most of us wouldn't do. Most of us wouldn't do. Every day he risks his life. Speaking against ills in society. Not just the George Weah government, but the government before. The leaders of wish he fled for his life. I don't think most of us would want to leave our, you know, good life in America and good life in Europe to go raise our life. But he did. Yeah. And he continued now. to do. So our honor tonight does not only merit the honor that is going to be given him tonight, but he lived for it. He lived for it. This young man is just what? He's just 39 years old. 39. And a young man at that age will be thinking about wealth, maybe all the money, fighting for himself fighting for his family to put food on the table. But not only that he fight for his family, but he fight for every one of us here. Now, some of you may not agree with that. It's up to you. But I know when I wake up in the morning to speak with my family in my bureau in a year, there was two missing kids somewhere around St. Moses. All some $60 million or a billion dollars got missing. <laughs> or someone got 200000 plus from the kind of court. Now, Best Calo and all you other humanitarian, you go to Bureau, you see what happened there. And in the face of that, all the suffering, all the pain that our people go through, Yet, the people we trust with power, they always tend to fail us. Now, I'm not going to go political, but not to waste much of your time, I have the honor and the privilege to introduce to you a fighter, some consider him as the young Jerry J. Rowland of our time. Some refer to him as the nightmare of corrupt leaders. I don't want to call him. Some refer to him as the honorable revolutionary fighter leader. And like I said, I mean no place to be more standing here to introduce him. But I'd like to say thanks to the LCA for the opportunity given me to introduce to you your honoree for the night. And if you may, please stand and give a hand of applause for your hero, for your writer, for your humanitarian, for your fellow trumpets, the honorable. Revolutionary fighter and leader, Henry Petro Kota. Yeah. You know, there's this thing about me, right? There is a perception about me, or lots of perceptions about me, that I'm an that I'm conceited, that I'm 
did it, I'm dying. But guess what? When people, one of the most embarrassing moments for me is when I hear people say all kinds of things about me. He was a hero, he's a dead, he's a I was like, oh, Jules, will you stop? <laughs> because I am not any of those things. I'm just a regular guy. I believe uh, in justice. And I believe uh, what's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. Now, I know we come from different political backgrounds. And sometimes our political views tend to make us not see things as they are. I know I can be hard, I can be tough, and it can be a little irritating and annoying, but as they say in Liberia, bad soul deserves a bad medicine. I want to thank the LCA for this honor. Uh, I don't even know quite yet for what I'm being honored, because I think when you have a duty to your country and you perform that duty, you do not deserve to be honored for that. So I want to thank my friends, our people who believe in the cause that we've dedicated our lives to for the last 11 years. Uh, they are from South Dakota, Minnesota, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Iowa, and uh, yeah, they all came to show support. And all we want is a better Liberia. That's all we want. I am insignificant in that. Uh, there are other very powerful voices. It's not just me. I agree with some of the things my sister DJ Finest said sometimes. I do. You know, just that when I get a little partisan, then I disagree. <laughs> but she says some very good stuff, you know? So we're all trying in our own ways to make life a better place. We we'll always not agree on how we want to do it. But I think we all love our country. To each of you, the entrepreneurs, that's not low. You know, I watch her show from time to time. She's doing good. This is why CC. Many of you here, you know, I'm just proud of you. There are lots of things I can do. The kind of person I am, whatever I can do, the next man can do. I can't sing. I can't rap. I don't know how to do it. I love it when you do it. You understand? We should be like that. Appreciate other people for what they do. When somebody is doing good, I want to be a part of helping to celebrate that person. Liberians need to learn that, to promote good causes, even when those causes do not personally benefit you. We need to do that. That's why my platform is there. You don't need to pay a cent to promote anything on the cost of show. Just call me. I'm a public servant. I will help you for free. I will even promote your product. Sometimes, remember the ads we play. We don't charge people for it because we believe in promoting Liberians. So tonight, I'm honored. I'm glad to be here. I wish the Liberian Choice Awards best of luck. Anytime you need me next year, I will be here to give you all the support you need. Thank you so much. Thank you.
So we don't even have to pay for my dress. So we don't have to pay for my dress. But look, the ballroom is next to you. So everything is happening in the ballroom right after you. Huh? Okay? So what about the next time? Who presents it? All right. The next award. Stop our own. Yes. Let me see. Who is the next presenter? What the next? Okay, I'm finish congratulations, Costa and the family. I'll finish it. So Costa brought the whole crew. Shout out to the Costa crew. Now presenting Best Media Influencer. All right. This is the top one. Yes. Because all these people in that category, like, they rather than doing great. I follow all of them. Okay? So, now presenting Best well, Media it is, it is what it is, people. Final, 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 that's it. Oh.